it off. Take it. What you do when you go to work? This nigga. Oh, he's a That nigga's stupid, man. I ain't cut me off of <laughs> See, you was trying to be all Nat Turner about that shit. That's why I came down like this. You bailing out, Cuz? Dude, what's up? Damn. Y'all yeah, don't want no more of this. Y'all don't want no more of this. Y'all don't want no more of this. This is a really piece of y'all. No, no, we, we, y'all gonna have to be like, we can't even. Man, 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 I'm gonna just keep talking because I ain't got no mic to hang on him. He got it. He's coming on his mic, huh? <laughs> 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 hey, ooh, salivating. You salivating. <laughs> what is he gonna be tonight? Like? Uh, 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 they told me I could go to my broad house for 12 hours, <laughs> nigga. Do you know what I did? <laughs> I'm damn little oh, motherfucker. Give me that goddamn phone. What's your name, motherfucker? I'm gonna call your boss and congratulate you. <laughs> 12, nigga. 12 bucks. It's all good. I'm gonna cost me more than that to ride with you because I was going to smoke a 20 stack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what up, y'all? Welcome back to the Underground Mix. We're cooling in the house with Richie Rich and Mr. Tupac. Mm. Tupac looks nap. <clears throat> no nappies. No nappies. Not First nappy, of all, no. Tupac, I want to talk about the album strictly for my niggas mm-hmm. and our double GA. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the word nigga, can you elaborate on that? What does it mean in your words? Well, it ain't my words. It's everybody's words. Since it's Black Watch, I don't have to tell all my Black Watch viewers what nigga mean. Because y'all know. If I was on ABC, I'd answer that. But it's Black Watch. Y'all know what I mean by nigga. I mean it in a loving way. My peoples, my folks, my whatever you want to call it. My niggas. Everybody done heard that before. That ain't nothing new. I ain't the first nigga, and I won't be the last nigga to, lo- to use nigga. So, let's get to some more deeper shit. All right. Like that pizza. What, what, what makes this album right here different from the Tupacalypse now? This is my last album. That would make a difference. And why is that? Because. Because. It's just my last album. <laughs> it's over, man. It's, it's over. over, man. It's over. Can't you tell, man? It's God over. damn. All right, on the song, point, your, point the finger. You know, you mentioned that you get harassed by the police. Every motherfucking day. Right. And, um. You suing the OPD for what? Five million dollars? What's that all about? Ten. Ten million. Ten million dollars. Get that shit. I got to have my mail. What happened? You know, tell us what happened. Wait, That's old. They beat me up. I sued. You got to have my mail. But I got to have. <laughs> he said, Richard Rich said you got to have their mail, huh? You a cold piece of work, man. <laughs> you a cold. All right, there's been a lot of cop killing going on, you know, this whole uh-huh. 93. Uh-huh. You know, do you feel any remorse for the cops that got killed? And be real. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, I'm feeling my remorse, baby, <laughs> chill. Can you fall? No. I mean, I would if I could, but I can't. Because it wasn't no remorse for Latasha. It wasn't no remorse for you, Seth Hawkins. And there wasn't no remorse when the motherfuckers kicked my ass. So they can all motherfucking die till they respect me as a motherfucking man. And every black man out there, they can all motherfucking die. And that's real. Till they do, more motherfuckers going to die. As long as they got bullets, it's going to be some justice around this motherfucker. Believe that. All right, let's talk about the verdict. You know, two of them was found guilty. Two of them were set free. You know, how do you feel about that situation? I mean, that's dumb. That's all I'm gonna say about that, that's dumb. Anybody who still believes in the justice system, 
and smoking crack. <laughs> and I got an ounce for their ass. <laughs> All right. You know, you, like in your song, Holler If You Hear Me, you know, you mentioned, you know, see you when you free me. If, if not, when they send me back. Uh-uh, when they shove me in. When they shove you yeah, in. Exactly. Being incarcerated, right? Yeah, they got to shove me in the penitentiary or jail. I'm not going willingly. And I got a Mini 14. A Mac 11. Glock. I got some shit for they ass, so come get me. All right, Tupac, check it out. You know, you in the public's eye and everything. And I uh, ain't the public in my eye. Right. But you on the two, and then, like, say the police pull you no, off, you know, what's the like? on me. The tube is on Tupac. Yeah, I'm not on the tube. The tube on me. And do you still get harassed, you know? I that told y'all, every day. Every day. Every day. Either it's a bitch, a cop, a jealous nigga, or a Caucasian, or an Oriental, or a Mexican that can't drive, or somebody harassing me every motherfucking day. That's why I stay strapped, stay drunk, and stay high till I die. <laughs> there it is from Tupac, y'all. Check it out. We're going to jump into this video. Holla if you hear me on the Underground Mix. Tupac lips now. Hey, it, you baby, you baby. The motherfucker, now. Hey, is that cheese or cheese? Hey, <laughs> This shit fuck with your cheese Damn, too pop. need to fuck with Domino's and pizza Cause they fuck off. Oh, you tell the man coming down the hall. How wide is the video show? G-O! <laughs> 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 video show walk down the street. Hey, y'all ready, man? Hey, yeah. yeah. I don't say, oh. Yeah, cause I'm gonna go smoke somewhere. I ain't never been to I'm trying, nigga, you know. I'm trying. That shit nasty. You like that shit? Hey, it's a false in there. I roll. Give us some love, man. What? I'm, I'm gonna tell you though, before you start running. If you ask me some fake shit, I'm gonna answer it fake. If you ask me some real shit, I'm gonna answer it real. Hey, if you ask me some yeah. shit that everybody asks me, I'm gonna answer it like I'm bored. If you ask me some shit that ain't nobody ever asked me, I'ma answer it like it's the first time I ever heard it. Hey, excuse me. But you asking me some shit that white folks yeah, ask, yeah, yeah. so I'ma answer it just like that. If it's black, white shit, let's be black about it. Yeah. Really dumb. Shit. You putting it on there, nigga. I meant to tell you, shit. you reminded me. <laughs> Here we go. I am. That nigga Rich is just out of control. I want to say something to my mom. <laughs> Fly your ass down to LA so you can see your son on TV. <laughs> <laughs> see that with mom, get a hold of that, your ass is too. But she ain't gonna get a hold of it because we're gonna have a slide. But I give her a copy of this shit. All right. All right. We ready, man. All right. <laughs> what up, y'all? Welcome back to the Underground Mix. We back with that real N I W G A, Tupac, and I want to talk about censorship, which kind of affected you. You know, yeah. Vice President of the United States tried to hit you with a little tried. Shot. He did. He threw things at me. He said, "Take my shit up off the shelf." Now, if that ain't hitting me, what is? I'm talking about the Vice President of the country you live in. You understand what I'm saying? That'd be like if the prince said, so I mean, goddamn, the vice president talked about me. A young nigga from the hood, he know me, he want my shit up off the shelf. Not motherfucking Megadeth, not Killer Cop, uh, all these other motherfuckers out there, all these white men, goddamn, they came after me, young pop. You know why? Because my shit is different than the next man. My shit be telling niggas to off these old punk motherfuckers. My shit talk about swinging back. They know the difference between mine and the next man. So that's why they came after me. But bust this up. Thug life is my revenge on all that. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. You know, you you straight up and everything. You know, Ice-T got sweated by Time Warner Brothers. Has your record company tripped with you? Tripped? God damn, my record company tripped, fell down, bounced, did triple somersaults, got up, fell two more times, got up, tripped, fell, rolled over in the gutter, and tripped six more times. Hell yeah, they tripped. 
They stifle me, censor me, whatever else they can do. They trying to quiet a nigga down in the worst way. But as long as, like I said, I repeat, as long as they got bullets and two inch tape, there will be justice out this motherfucker. Trust. All right, now look, check this out. Huh? Ah, here we go. Fuck it. All right. All right. Let's see, where am I at? Am I gonna apply them? Yeah. Hell yeah. As long as I can slang these motherfucking tapes out my car, I'm going platinum, Jack. Believe that like you believe crack sell. My shit sell. Long as crack sell, my shit gonna sell. That's how I'ma put that one. Uh, All right. My shit going platinum, goddamn. Uh, long as pussy sell, my record sales. Uh, got me. Feel me? Uh. Check this out, Tupac. The media, you know, sweated you over all your negative Fuck things. Fuck the media. All right, but you made a bunch of positive records, like Brenda's Got a Baby, baby and uh, All my up. shit is positive. All my shit is positive. That's the white man got you thinking my shit is negative and positive. All my shit positive, because it tell niggas to swing back. It tell sisters to swing back, and it tell niggas to swing back. If that ain't positive, crack don't sell. You got me? You feel me? That's positive. White people got you believing just because I'm telling a nigga to stop getting his head kicked in by the police to take the gun he would use to shoot his brother in a second and kill the motherfucking cop that's killing you, your family, and everybody else on the block. You know what I'm saying? Kill that motherfucker. That is not insane. That is sane and straight like a motherfucker. That's positive, like a motherfucker. Because from where I'm standing, that would save a black family. You know what I'm saying? But from where they standing, that would keep a mother motherfucker off welfare. And keep another motherfucker shooting at cops, crooked cops that be trying to shoot us down. So fuck them. It's all positive. Everything I do is positive, goddammit, because I'm still breathing. And I ain't on welfare. And I once was. You hear me? Since you just straight on the real You got your boy right here, Richard Rick. Now, what y'all collaborating on right now just to give it on the real real on what y'all doing? Yeah, what's now? Now, when they're just. On that tip, we faded on that tip. I done try to tell y'all, since I got out here, it's all about that thug life. And they think thug life is a rap group. Nah, -uh. no, no, no. Thug life is just some old deep shit that you can't sink your feet in. It's Richie Rich. It's my nigga Snoop Dogg. It's my nigga the governor. It's my nigga Warren G. Everybody's on this motherfucker. On this thug life album, we got my nigga Spice One, Psych. Mac 10, Rated R, I got niggas from all over the hood, from all over the rap industry, and they all good, and it's all on this motherfucker, because it's all about that thug life, it's all about niggas coming together and making papers off what we can do best, and that's game these motherfuckers, and that's straight check these white motherfuckers, and put our motherfucking beard down, we been doing it, we do it every motherfucking day, the game is motherfucking free, but shit, we need to start making some money off of it, all these motherfucking white kids, they want to be G's, well shit, let me raise you young motherfuckers. Come get a slice of this old shit. You hear me? All good. Stay low. Stay low. I stay low. Hey man, don't get me out here clowning, man. I stay loaded though. Hey Jack, what's your twist from the good ones up? Right here. Hey, can I get a uh, can we get a blunt? Hey Jack. Oh uh, look, look, you gotta get a blunt. Hey Manu, let me get a blunt. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna come at you and we just straight on so you just come back at us. Yeah. yeah. What? We're gonna give you the goddamn questions because that right question. Ten, 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 
That's a motherfucking hoe. I'm a motherfucking pimp. I'm finna come up on my own. I'ma get my own sack. I don't wanna be nobody worker all my life. I want my own motherfucking kilo. You understand me? So that's what I did. And shock a hustler, and I'm a hustler, so everybody understand it. Ain't no one man gonna stay in one spot forever. That's a sucker. I'm a hustler. I'ma come up. So I took what little bit he gave me and doubled up and doubled up and doubled up, and I've been doubling since. And I'm gonna keep on doubling till these niggas kill me, and that's that. Can I get a blunt, please? Yeah. 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 Man, that man. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah. that one time in life. Yeah. Man. So Hell yeah, I was homeless. And I'll be homeless again if y'all don't buy my records. I swear to God, I will. Shit. How are your records doing, man? You know, so far, we doing cool. They selling and everything. My shit popping in and out the charts. Shit is starting to be cool, but I mean, that don't mean nothing. Because goddamn. I done seen, a, 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 I done seen eviction notices before, and they ain't pretty. And it don't say if you rap it on trip. <laughs> don't say that. It don't say it. <laughs> the motherfuckers be like, yo. What they say? They say, uh, get your ass up out my chassis if you ain't got my rent. And my rent, I'm gonna tell y'all, is fourteen hundred a month. And that don't include the motherfuckers that got to clean it up. It don't include gas. It don't include none of that shit. It don't include my very large chronic habit. It don't include none of that. But I pays it, man. I'm hustling. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. That's why I be tripping. Y'all be seeing me in the past and be like, what's wrong with that nigga? That's why I be tripping on niggas when they try to flex on me. You understand? Because I'm out here hustling. Just like any nigga on the corner out there slanging, going through the risk he got to take to slang whatever he got to slang. I'm out here slanging. And all this risk that niggas try to make me go through, I'm going to make them feel the fire like I got to feel the fire. And that's real. And anybody can't understand that. They don't understand a black thing. It's going to stay black. I'm not finna act white just because y'all want me to act white. Just because all these other motherfuckers act white when they get their papers. I'm going to act very black. I'm going to buy bins because that's what niggas do. Right. You understand me? I'm going to smoke weed because that's what niggas do. I'm going to pack a gat because that's what niggas do. You understand me? I'm going to get drunk because that's what niggas do. You understand me? I'm not going to change just because motherfuckers got money. God damn, I'm going to go through my hardships just like the next man. I'm 21 years old, and God helped me make another day. But I'm, I'm going to go through it my way. I'm not finna act all enlightened. I'm not finna act like I got this Bible that tell me I don't got shit, never had a daddy. I had to teach my motherfucking self how to be a man. You understand me? And I'm still learning. But it can't a motherfucker out there tell me shit. Because I was on welfare, started with nothing. Now I got a little bit of something. I'm on the bright screen. I'm on videos. God damn it. That's why I act like this. You feel me? That's why I act like this. Because my mama was a crack addict, man. I came up from out of nothing. Feel me? There it is from Tupac, y'all. An underground mix. Holly Baby. Holly I'm going to just tell y'all. Y'all don't know the I did my own interview. Holly Holly. I wish y'all. I was asking my own questions, man. I'm asking my own questions over here, man. Come here, man. Hey, get my man in here, man. This my nigga, man. Man, man. You got this, man. You got this. This my nigga Keith, man. We did a movie together. But wait, right, Justice. Wait till y'all see my yeah, nigga. Bitches gonna trip on <laughs> Keith. <laughs> Bitches gonna be trippin' on my nigga. He's my nigga bad. is, hey. Hey, listen. He's going, hey. He just kinda helped get me in the movie. Nah, man. oh my God. Oh my God. I know who's the leader. Oh my. Hey, check this out, y'all. Ever since I met this nigga, though, I be getting more and more pussy. Yeah. Now, he don't want to take credit for it. He don't want to take credit for it. But you know how that shit go. You know how that shit go. Bitch, the kind of stuff I keep sent me. I mean, God damn. I don't fucking got that, man. Keep seeing it. My nigga get in the movie. Wait till y'all see the movie. Y'all gonna check, nigga, go keep watching the picture and act. Motherfuckers gonna be bugging out. We did the dope shit, Janet Jackson. Hell yeah, I had my tongue in her mouth. It was all that. Was all that. I, was playing, I was playing a young nigga. That's the only character I could play. I know motherfuckers gonna get tired of seeing me in the movies because I'm gonna have the same part every time. A young nigga. I'm gonna be a young nigga every time. I'm a big, I'm in Juice, I was a young nigga with a gun. In this one, I'm a young nigga with a baby. In the next one, I'm gonna be a young motherfucking nigga. God damn it, I'm gonna stay playing young niggas till I'm old as motherfucking Dizzy Gillespie, then I'm gonna play old niggas, god damn it. I'm gonna be an old nigga with a gun, I'm gonna be an old nigga with a baby, and I'm gonna be an old motherfucking nigga. I'm gonna stay doing movies long as they stay paying me for it, god damn it. I'm gonna stay rapping long as they stay paying for it, god damn it. What was it like working with John Singleton?
good. It was all good. good. And we gonna stay low. And I'm finna roll a job. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all motherfuckers how you really roll a motherfucking blunt. God damn it. Cause motherfuckers be swearing they be smoking weed, but they ain't smoking like I'm smoking. God damn it. You feel me? Brush your sack off. Oh, God. I ain't gonna fuck my sack off, man. <laughs> you think I'm gonna just go out 100% on TV? Excuse me, I'm not gonna go out like that. He tried to snitch. He think he's he, in a roundabout way, he just slipped. Really? In a roundabout way, he just dry snitched. Really? 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 This we teach you. Uh, what is that? Hey, this is a cigar. I, I'm not doing nothing but rolling my cigar. This El Capitan. <laughs> Niggas is real for the street, man. A motherfucker ain't gonna cross up. Nigga gotta stay real. This all I'm saying, man. This all I'm saying. This might not be no role model type shit or none of that, but goddamn, ask yourself. Ask your mama, ask your daddy, ask your auntie, ask your uncle. You smoked weed before, didn't you? You smoked a crack before too, didn't you? I'm a role model though. Well, Pac never did nothing but smoke weed. That's it. He never fucked with that old bullshit. So give me my motherfucking propers and don't sweat me when I'm blunted like a motherfucker. I'm a role model. President Bill Clinton said. Cause if you give me something, I'm a role. Then inhale. Yeah. Especially if it's any type of anything. Yeah. I inhale, but I don't smoke I'm weed. I'm a motherfucking role model. <laughs> ain't that a bitch? Hey. That's like saying you I'm fucking, but you ain't busting nuts. I'm down with that role model <laughs> shit though. <laughs> On the movie, anything you get me, I'm a roll. Whether it be me, <laughs> yo, Dance, man, whatever. Yeah, uh, a bad bitch, <laughs> or a brand new vehicle, whatever, man. A role model, yeah. Spin game. Hey, but you know what? Check this out. Coming straight from East Oakland, from your partner Double O, we running with this nigga right here. Boy is wild. You know, I'm just out to hang out with the motherfucker. The boy is wild. But look. This is line. Line. Oh, yes on proposition 156. Pussies with dipsticks. That way you can see if the pussy is dry. You can pull it out if the shit is dry, get the bitch a couple of quarts, take it to the room and ride that ass. So just remember, yes on prop 156. 156. Pussies with dipsticks. Sideways. I got a question. How come the police gotta ride with guns, bulletproof vests, mace, sticks? Walkie talkies, backup, shotguns, helicopters, all that shit to go through the ghetto. But we gotta go through that motherfucker with no bulletproof vests, no guns, no dope, no weed, no drink, no motherfucking nothing. I got and, that. And, question. and they see us all day, every day, so we mowing day. Yeah, I got that motherfucking question for your ass. Yeah. And why does the president live in the White House if he's really representing each American out here? Why don't he live in the motherfucking crack house and see how fast they clear up this drug epidemic? Huh? Or live in the whole house and see how fast this AIDS shit get cleared up. Feel me? Or live in the motherfucking section eight and see how fast this welfare shit clear up. That's what I'm motherfucking trying to say. Like me slide to Camp David. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let niggas go to Camp David so we can show these motherfuckers how to party. Because Camp David got young bitches in bikinis. Right. I know why Bush and them be sitting up there. Because they own farts. Because they got young bitches with bikinis, cola, and pistols and shit. You know? <laughs> Living like Scarface out there. Flossing, <laughs> making movies, you know. Trick ass pinkies. <laughs> pinkies is a motherfucker. They looking for my road dog over there. That's why he low. <laughs> Fuck the pinkies though. They looking for the ass and still on the road. They looking for a motherfucker to see. Black watch would say, never give you the change. location. Hey, devil, what they fucking mean? <laughs> Black watch would never give you a motherfucker's <laughs> location. Yeah, you I can't see us. Like and we know that you are after us. And I post a pee for my man in three weeks, but he might not see me. It's like this. And Black Watch ain't gonna give up my fucking location. I know I'm wrong for smoking weed and shit, but it's like this, Mr. Officer. Do you wanna die of holding the law? Cause I sure gonna die for holding this motherfucking blood. So if you wanna die for that, my nigga got some shit too. God damn it. Right, no, it was good pay, man. It was good pay. Yeah, nigga pay, man. Hey, man. My partner got some.
And I'm spinning all this on cabs because my partner won't take me to my bitch house. Bro, you're wrong. You're Hey, this nigga up. Hey, man. Look, he got Lil legit, legit, man. Lil 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 cool, man. Look at this shit, though. Look, Look, Tupac is rolling, y'all. Hey, Look at that. Lil legit, man. Richie Rich. Stay off, man. That's how a nigga live where I come from. Stay off. That's the move, man. That's it, Pac. That's the one. He the one. Hey, but you know one thing, Pac? What's up? What you got with The motherfuckers are so Gotta get mine. That's why I was just showing you. I gotta get mine. Let us know. Get my, let him get in. I let it go to life. Man, I'm going to make you poop on your panties if you don't let him get in. Can I just be personal with y'all right now? Yeah, I just want to be personal. Yeah. I want to tell y'all some personal shit. I ain't married. I, I don't got no, no section to tell you. I ain't married. I ain't got no woman. But I'm known to fucking get up on a motherfucker. I just want to plug my niggas uh, Billy G shit. Fucking get up. Homie, that's my song, man. Because I fucking get up on these hoes, man. These hoes getting too much. Niggas need to stop giving these bitches all the attention. That's why niggas is dying now. When these hoes get horny, niggas die. Hoes get horny, niggas die. Watch. Every time. Every funeral you go to, it's a bitch that was horny the night before. So you need to start checking these bitches. Keep your dicking. Niggas need to go back to the OG penitentiary days and start jacking off. Because if you don't, you're going to end up killing each other. We're going to all die. We got to start saying, fuck these bitches, man. If you fucking with a cool female, that's all good. But if you fucking with a bitch, you need to break her ass and shake her ass. That's how we got to do it in the 9-3. Bitch jacking off. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, you know what? Hey, you know what's so going on? What's up? I got to give love to my nigga Kato who just passed away. One love, ain't nothing changed. Uh, put the rubber on the bulge, BBS polish on the thing. Yeah, love to my nigga Kato. Yeah, yeah, love to my nigga Kato passed away, man. Let's talk about the new video. I get around. It's only underground. Talk about you don't stop for hoes, you know. What's up, man? You just have no love for women or what? I quote my nigga. I quote a great Negro spiritual. Kid bitches ain't shit. We don't love them hoes, and it's like that. It's just like that. I don't love them hoes. Tell them a little something about that shit we hooked up tonight, man. A little song. Yeah. We doing this shit called Animosity. It's with Richie Rich, Snoop Doggy Dog, The Governor, and right. Tupac. It's on the Thug Life album. It's just about how niggas just be jealous of a motherfucker. That's, but just trying to do good. You know what I'm saying? On one hand, niggas be tripping off niggas. That ain't got shit. Then when a nigga get shit, they trip because you got shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That shit is illegal. Illegal. That's the new word for the non-track. Motherfucker be mad because they see you and you don't stop. You don't stop? No, oh, I, I can't stop. Niggas be mad at the shows because I don't kick it. I want to get some, excuse me, yeah. want to get, get a little pussy. Let's see, there you go. There you go. Listen, you want to see my wonder, wonder run through these bitches. Excuse me for running through these hoes. You just said you didn't want to fuck with the hoes we were supposed to jack off. Now we're supposed to get the hoes. Man, we got their mind. Oh, I ain't never say, hey, I ain't never say we got to get straight go without. Now, any nigga to tell you that got a rubber dick for you. I ain't, just, hey, hey, hey. I'm just saying cut back and don't, I'm just saying don't fuck your fellow brother for the bitches. That's real. What was it like collaborating with Ice-T and Ice Cube on the, on the track? It was on the fifth all track? good. Them niggas came through, I didn't believe it. I just kept saying, man, I can't believe them niggas coming to the, excuse me, excuse me, brother. Let me, let me just, excuse me. Let me I couldn't believe the brothers was coming to the studio, but they came, they laid that shit, and it was all good. All right. I he talked to him as you rap. He said you and um him was out there tripping like when the when ride, ride was up. I know was Greg, you, you my nigga, but you wrong for snitching, man. You told everybody we would shoot this shit. Oh, oh, like, real dog, all this choice, yeah. But that's my nigga's cool. I take the rap, nigga. Don't trip. Yeah. 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 It's all good, nigga. Hell yeah, when the riots was on, nigga, on the 29th, your boy Pop was filming a movie, a melty million dollar movie with Janet Jackson. But that motherfucking night, I was out there shooting up motherfucking Chinese takeouts. I swear I was. Come through. Hey, but bust it. That was a movie I was doing. That was all the movie that y'all gonna see coming out called April 29th. Down, boy, the April 29th. Ah, no, that's all good. Yeah. So that's the happened, y'all. We did this movie called April 29th, 
and I just was shooting up Chinese takeouts in the movie. And I got a part in the movie. <laughs> all right, on this new Off the track, track the Coogee Rap. With you and MC Bree, you know, what was up with all that? How'd you guys play? Yeah, yeah, I got way back. Me and Bree, yeah. yeah. I was on my way to get my Thug Life tattoo that you spoke with me up. And his manager was outside the tattoo spot. I said, Bree, down here. I said, where? He said, yeah. I said, where we at? I went to where he was at. He was in the studio. I laid my shit. And the shit is the first single off his album. So it's all good. Tupac and MC Bree. Oakland and Detroit, huh? Yeah, Really, really never knew how it was gonna come out because we wasn't all in the studio at the same time. I remember I was doing my vocals, Tretch walked in, pulled out a pistol, said it's his turn, he did his rap, he left, I left, Patchy did his shit, everybody laid it, five deadly vendors, it was all good, it shows niggas can't come together and do their thing. It is from Tupac. Well, ask me some deep shit. What about that? That's why I agreed to do this interview. I thought we was gonna do deep. Ask me about the Hughes brothers. Okay. All right, like, yeah, you were supposed to be a minister to society. But, but I wasn't. Okay, come on, come on. Nah, you had your chance, man. I was supposed to be a minister to society, right? I went and everything. They got the deal because of your boy. You know, they, they was my niggas that used to do all these videos for me. They was the niggas that was talking that you should help your black brother shit, and I helped they punk ass. You know what I'm saying? It was helping them all the way. They got a little movie deal, tried to act white on me. You understand me? And thought I was going to choose a career before I choose my motherfucking principles, my manhood. So I said, okay, cool. Fire me from this $100,000 movie because I ain't going to play no gangbanger who's a Muslim. There ain't no such thing. I refuse to play parts that don't exist. I will be a young nigga, but I will be a real young nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's going to that's gonna make me different than all these niggas that's taking parts. If it's about the money, I might as well stay a drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like that. So fuck you, Hughes brothers, for doing that. Then I leave. They fire me over the air on TV, on MTV. They say Tupac fired for threatening the director. What really happened, let me tell the world. He said, I said, you acting like a bitch. He said, you acting like a bitch. I said, well, goddamn, if I'm a bitch, smack a bitch. You feel me? He said, well, if I'm a bitch, smack a bitch. And I stepped towards him. You feel me? But he a bitch. That's real. And I ain't. That's real. Feel me? So the nigga fired me. They did their move. Million dollar movie. I ain't sweat them the whole while they was filming the movie, even though I was in LA the whole time. Didn't touch them. Because I ain't want nobody think it was because of the movie, and I'm not jealous. Y'all handle y'all business. I can understand that, and I can respect that. No matter how much funk we got, you a nigga doing your business, you do it. As soon as the movie was wrapped, though, it's all good. And I met them motherfuckers at the Spice One video for Trigger Got No Heart. And as sure as Spice One was singing how the Trigger had no heart, Tupac has no heart. What's that say? Heartless. And I beat them motherfuckers down. I threatened. I said, both y'all niggas got the car. We about the box. His brother, his twin brother got out and started running. That's on my mama. He ran. Fling twins. He ran. Boom. The other brother got out, started talking shit. He walked away. I socked this punk ass and started throwing things like I'm born the box. The partner he had with him started begging me to stop beating him up, but I kept beating his punk ass up. Then, instead of fighting me like a G, he ran. Now, I can't help it if some niggas that was on the scene beat his ass for running. That was something separate, you understand me? And I can't help it if they were screaming thug life as they did it. That ain't my fault. That's just how shit went down. You understand me? But now niggas need to start living what they preaching. They want to make gangster movies. They better live a gangster life. That's real. Or make movies about what the fuck they know about. But it's, I got to have these nightmares. These motherfuckers really put me in jail. They really suing me. So I'm going to really live this lifestyle. And I'm going to make other motherfuckers really live this lifestyle. Because it can't be crowded up here if motherfuckers ain't really putting in work. And that's real. Oh, I did this. I had a show booked for uh, Jamaica, House. Jamaica House, right? And they wouldn't let me in the show. And my niggas, because all my motherfucking, whatever you want to call it, fans or the niggas that buy my records, my homies, they the motherfuckers that said, well, if Pop can't get in, we ain't getting in, nobody getting in. And they closed it down. They had to bring police and riot gear. Because you cannot ever underestimate niggas. We way too motherfucking strong. Hey, yeah, can you get a witness on that? You need to try to sit that damn bro. 
Niggas be tripping. Twin brother, give us a lowdown on that. We really don't know. Twin brother. Pee Wee, people say he a twin. Pee Wee, my nigga, man. I just told y'all I don't have no family. Pee Wee, my nigga, he my homie. He been my homie through Digital Underground. He a dope ass rapper, dope producer. That's all it is to that. Yeah. Man, I love it. Come on, y'all. Get deep, man, and close this shit up. Don't ask me for no interview unless y'all ready to interview, man. Hey, they got me, Cass. Nigga, got it. Tell him my shit is rigged. Tell him it's rigged. My shit is. Hey. Hold on, dude. Tell him I'm going to tell him what that opening is. Oakland. We know you came via Baltimore. I came via New York, Baltimore to Oakland. I was there about two years. I'm out. So we hear that all in the albums. Because that's where I got the game at, you know what I'm saying? Coming out of New York, I always learned about flavor and different shit like that. Not to diss New York, I learned a lot, but I never knew the game. I never learned the game. And when I went to Baltimore, I didn't learn the game. Nobody ever took the time to show me the game. When I got to Oakland, that's when I learned the game. That's when I just... Nah, nigga, the game. It's not even one person. The game is just in. It's in me. It was in me. Somebody just awoke it. Somebody just woke, woke it up inside me. You know what I'm saying? Like they're like a religion. And I just saw it. And I saw it in Oakland. And I saw it living in Oakland. And I saw it thriving in Oakland. I just saw everybody being about the game. That's the first time I saw all niggas thinking about one thing. The game. And they all follow one rule. The game. The rules of the game. And that's, that was never in no other city I lived in. So I give all my love to Oakland. If I'm a claim somewhere, I'm a claim. Oakland. Even if I don't live there, I live in LA now, but I'ma still claim Oakland. That's where it gave me the game. So I think I'm, 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 I'm a resident, you know what I'm saying? So what do you feel Oakland needs? Like in the 60s, they came up with the Panthers who was stomping strong through Oakland and made noise. What's gonna make noise today? Oakland got it. They got the players. They got Section 8. They got Richie Rich. They got the Governor. They got Too Short. They got E40. They got the Click. They got the, the Bay Area is moving something. You know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. It's like they got the whole little revolution of music that's coming out. Niggas that's rapping from their heart. They not taking nobody else's style. They just doing it. That's strong enough, yeah, that's that's all it take, nigga. Don't you? That's all it take is for a motherfucker to be original, and that's where everybody be biting from. You know what I'm saying? That's what gave me the game. I just told you. So everything I do, you could give it to Oakland. Give all my my Grammys and shit to Oakland. So where they get all the spots out of Oakland? I I don't I don't know who that is. That's how I write this shit really is, huh? You know what? Let it down, kid. I grew up with you, man. You know that? He ain't gave nothing back to East Oakland, the ghetto of East Oakland. Down in the hard spots. He bought the top of the top. He ain't from Oakland. No, no. Uh -uh. He ain't gave nothing to the town. He ain't get nothing for East Oakland. But he don't even come through the motherfucker. Because he ain't from there. No, he ain't from there. Hey, where you he from? Triple? I think he's from um, Oak Town. Oak Town, I don't know where the fuck Oak Town is at. You know, I've been born and raised. I moved to Oakland in '71. I ain't, I don't know where the fuck Oak Town is at. I ain't. Uh, you been to Oak Town before? <laughs> Can't be swinging that Oak Town shit on a major level. I've never been to Oak Town. Yeah. Oakland. Yeah, Oakland. Yeah. Now, now Oak Town is a place where you can jump off Taco Bells and shit and float <laughs> softly. <laughs> And all that other shit. But Oakland. Yeah, Oakland is just got the city of dope. It's ballers. For real. Though. Ballers. For real. Though. Bitch beat me, bet you all that I call it. You know. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But don't sleep on the Los Angeles area. It's all good. What made you move to LA? Cause I had to leave Oakland to do to some funk. And niggas could Oakland's so small, somebody could just go to my house. You know what I'm saying, and be, tie, everybody tie everybody up and be having a piss in my mouth before I knew it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I couldn't, I couldn't even find out who did it because it's so small and it's so tight. You know what I'm saying? The game is so deep, you won't even know who did you. And but where I live at right now, they can come get me, but they got to have a bulletproof heart because it's all good. And I can see them coming, and we all even. You know what I'm saying? It's big enough to where as we all even. But out in Oakland, everybody knew where Tupac lived. I had motherfuckers coming to my door. Do, 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 do. Tupac here. <laughs> I lived on the strip. You know what I'm saying? 
MacArthur, MacArthur, Lake Mary, everything happened. I live here, nigga. I used to come out to LA and do shows and niggas breaking in my house, stealing my AK. He had hella parties at his house. He's hella head jobs. Oh, yeah, tell him. I'm the toss him up king. How did that now? Come on. Niggas that got hella head jobs at my house hella from bitches that I done provided through my, you know what I'm saying? Just hella head jobs, man. You know. Can you let everybody know who your stepfather is? No. I don't believe in that stepfather hey. shit. That's some shit. You wrote this guy. That's some shit. That's some shit that they just, that's some shit they just made up in my bio. There ain't no such thing as a stepfather. My father is dead. He in the ground. He was a hustler. You know what I'm saying? My sister's father is, you know what I'm saying, a political prisoner. He in jail for doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? And he gonna be in there for a long time. But now he's still giving me the game for free. You know what I'm saying? Handle my business on the streets. And my godfather, you know what I'm saying, is in jail for the same old righteous panther shit. But now, that don't mean nothing. That should only tell you that it's in my blood. That shouldn't tell you nothing else besides that. Because every man got to stand on his own two feet, and that's what I'm about. Because my daddy ain't do nothing but give me the motherfucking chromosomes to be here. You know, and that's, he can't get no more other credit. All this came from the hoods. Hoods. Hey man, fuck you. Man. He finna start no, sipping. Let's get that on the camera. He's sipping. He's sipping. He's sipping. He's sipping. He's sipping. If he had that option, his ass would have been gone. Believe that. Believe that. Shut down. Shut down. I'll be doing my thing. Yeah. Hey, hey, before you cut, give him a couple of little freestyles, son. Yeah. I'm a fart. It's all with you. It's all with you. Don't do that. You know, like, you know, that shit like, yo, this is Pop Richie Rich. We introduced the tech and verbal cues. G. Flow a little something. Like that. The verbal cues. That's your own cues. That's it. Verbal cues. That's so deep. Do, do your thing, pass the verbal cue. No, you do. You're going to give me that. You're going to give me that. I don't got no music. You don't need no music. You're a G in this one. You don't need no music. Ain't this a bitch. If I was really a G, you'd be paying me a freestyle. So. <laughs> so, really, I'm just a rapper. I'm just a rapper. And you, you know you want to. Huh? Motherfucker, give me a ride to baby house. I might. Yeah. Motherfucking nephew, right here. That's my feet, man. I was supposed to buy a sports. I was supposed to get him a bike when he was 13, but I forgot. I was drinking. <laughs> hey, he ain't never forgive me. He ain't never forgive me. He still hate me to this day. I told this boy I was throwing ball. He broke two million windows. I ain't fucking that kid no more. Right. Be out of this motherfucker one time on the verbal cues with the news, giving the hoes the blues, and hopefully making enough money to get some new shoes. Sideways. <laughs> right. hey, I'm gonna go from the goddamn jet. I got a bad one up here. That's right, G. Y'all wrong for that shit, man. Oh, hmm. uh, nigga. Yeah. This is yo nigga pop. Love some fat cock about to rock this rhyme for my niggas in black watch and um it's all good living in the hood and um I'm peak game and it's understood. They want me to bust a freestyle, but I gotta get paid, so show sure as a motherfucker gotta get laid, ho. I gotta do my thing like I do it and um I'm through cause you shit already knew it. That's it, it's all good. Hey next time if I get paid I do something funky. But, uh, <laughs> All that freestyle got to be free, so.